You're watching TVC Breakfast. Now, Nigeria may be heading for a revolution in tomato production in the coming days. That's because the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture are working hand in hand to launch a new program. While the CBN is furnishing tomato farmers with capital through its anchor borough scheme, the federal government plans to place a ban on import of tomato products before the end of the year. Edith Atele tells us more. Tomato is cultivated in many parts of Nigeria, with 80% of the vegetable grown in the north alone. The country is the 14th largest producer of the plant in the world and second in Africa after Egypt. Ironically, Nigeria is also the largest importer of tomato paste in the world, importing an average of 150,000 tons of concentrate per annum. Nigeria currently produces 1.8 million tons of tomato annually, while demand is 2.3 million tons. Imported tomato paste, powder and concentrate make up for the supply deficit. Tomato has a short shelf life. In Nigeria, 40 to 51% of tomato produced never make it to the market due to poor processing and storage facilities. The Central Bank of Nigeria has over time given support to the agricultural value chain. The Apex Bank is now stepping up its efforts towards an enhanced tomato processing industry. The aim is for Nigeria to achieve self-sufficiency in tomato production in the next one year. This will make us to get more aggressive and vigorously pursue the objective of diversifying the structure of the Nigerian economy. My um, own um, selfish interest here is that up to very recently, we still were importing tomatoes into the country, whereas we could save the foreign exchange. To further boost production and grow the local industry, the federal government is set to ban the importation of tomato puree before the end of 2019. Some health experts have also raised concerns over the consumption of imported tomato concentrate, stating that some of the products are laced with cancer-causing coloring and preservatives. With the ban on tomato concentrate in place, Nigeria will not only grow its local industry, but will also have successfully shut its borders to substandard tomato products. Edith Atele, TVC News. With us in the studio is Wale Bama Oyekoya. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Now, with this, the introduction of this ban set to kick off in 2021, can we really achieve uh, tomato production self-sufficiency? It's possible, but it's not something to be celebrated on the TV because it's supposed to be the other way. We're supposed to be exporting some of these products and we've been talking about value chain, value chain, value chain, but until maybe now the government are getting to their... Uh, to their act together and uh, maybe we can get it there but to me it's possible because well, we've had this kind of promises before definitely. especially on rice ban and all of that but we can we we still see that uh, there's the importation of rice and smuggling as well definitely that's why i keep on saying that until we can have a sustainable policy from the government we keep on deceiving ourselves because we've been talking about all this uh stopping banning of this of, uh, importation of some of these farm produce, but we have not been able to get it. Not that we are not capable of doing this thing. We are really capable. We have the manpower. All what we have, we've been discussing about that is the government to be sincere. If you are really sincere, not political uh, statement that you've been making, then we'll but, be able to make But we have this. a government uh, official saying that with the Anko Borough scheme, they are ready to be sincere, to, you know, to push this. We Isn't keep on practicing enough? monopoly of economy in this country. Like now, Dangote wanted to go into a refinery or into all this uh, tomato uh, paste production. But we are talking about population of over 200 million. They're supposed to spread this thing all over, not just to picking one person. You know, we've we'll been talking about this thing that our population keep on expanding. We're supposed to really encourage local farmers instead of just putting the whole power into one person. What about if this company died just like what happened in 2016? You know, this company have been existing in Kano about until 
when we have a total absoluta, when we have some of this disease that is savaging some of this tomato then. So we're supposed to spread this thing to all the geopolitical zones. If I'm really sincere, which, which is what we've been preaching all this time, all the local governments are supposed to have all this uh, uh, small, small manufacturing. In all right, for us you've been to talking about having the right policy in place. What yeah. will be the right policy in place? It's to be able to sustain the policy that we'll be having, we'll be talking about, to be able to have implementation of some of this policy, not that another government will come next year, then you abandon what the policy we have today. No, we have the arable land, we have what it takes to easily take us to the next step. Just like all this uh, rice importation we'll be talking about, we still do more of importation on most of this farm produce than what we are really existing in the, in the country. All right, Wally, thank you for your time.